Cystic fibrosis is a progressive genetic disorder that affects the lungs and digestive system. In the lungs, cystic fibrosis manifests itself in accumulation of mucus that clogs the airways and traps bacteria. Cystic fibrosis patients experience difficulty with breathing as well as lung infections that become worse with time. On a molecular level, cystic fibrosis is caused by a defect in a membrane protein called cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, or CFTR. CFTR pumps chloride ions across the membrane of lung epithelial cells. Chloride ions attract water, which makes mucus thinner. When CFTR is absent or it's not functioning properly, the mucus becomes thick, blocking the airways and allowing bacteria to grow. Mutations in CFTR gene are very common among people of European descent. On average, 1 in 25 people are carriers of defective CFTR allele. Carriers do not manifest the disease because they also have an intact copy of the gene. When two carriers have children, each child has a 1 in 4 chance of becoming homozygous for CFTR mutation and developing cystic fibrosis. The promise of gene therapy is that patient lungs could be cured from the effects of cystic fibrosis by a one-off administration of CFTR gene by inhalation. If a sufficient number of epithelial cells uptake nucleic acid with CFTR genetic code, chloride ion transport and mucus clearing mechanisms in lungs will be restored. The biggest challenge of gene therapy is designing gene delivery vehicles, also known as vectors. Nucleic acids that carry genetic code, both DNA and RNA, are easily degraded in lung environment. They are also negatively charged, so they cannot pass through cell membranes. Gene delivery vectors are designed to protect their DNA or RNA payload and deliver it to target cells. Vectors that so far have been tested in cystic fibrosis gene therapy clinical trials are viruses and liposomes. Viruses have naturally evolved to bypass host defense mechanisms and insert their genetic material inside the host cells. Viral particles can be engineered in a lab to carry CFTR gene. Liposomes are microbubbles created from lipid molecules. During liposome formation, payload genetic material is incorporated inside the bubble. When liposome fuses with cell membrane, it releases its content inside cell cytoplasm. As of today, there have been 27 clinical trials for cystic fibrosis gene therapy. Unfortunately, none of them has produced desired therapeutic effect. Apparently, mucus buildup in the lungs of cystic fibrosis patients works as a strong barrier for gene delivery vectors, making it much harder to deliver CFTR gene to epithelial cells as it was previously thought. The good news is that technology keeps getting better. New gene delivery vectors are constantly being developed. Gene therapy for cystic fibrosis is at least 10 years away, but it is coming. If you want to learn more about cystic fibrosis gene therapy, please follow the link to Bio501 website where you will find the complete article.